How big should your dab be? Now, this answer might vary depending on the mood you're in or the day you've had, but just think about like a typical dab you're sitting down for a session. You scoop some concentrate. How much are you scooping for your hit? I've actually had the pleasure of giving maybe over a dozen people or so their very first dab, and something that I've done many times is before they actually take their hit, I'll say to them, scoop how much you think that you would hit. This is a kind of fun game or a fun experiment for somebody who's never scooped concentrates before because some people scoop a lot. One of my buddies who was kind of like a seasoned smoker smoked a bunch, but on his first dab, I was like, how much do you think should be the first hit? Scooped up about a half a gram. I was like, you think you should, you should have almost all of what's in there? And literally that's how some people dab. Some people don't dab, they only glob. They're doing Globber De Niro's, Globber Downey Jr's. They're taking those big old smooth with Glob Thomas's so they could feel just like the ocean under the moon. Now, this is an interesting question because I get approached by a lot of people who have never dabbed before. I've seen many people in my Twitch streams lately ask how big their first dab should be. If you don't get high with me on Twitch, tune into the Twitch sesh every night. I go live at 9 p.m. Eastern for a smoke sesh. We got 710 coming up in over a week. I'm doing a 12 hour sesh on Twitch from 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern. Don't miss that one. But I get asked a lot about first time dab situations. And usually I always, I always say less than you think. Usually your first dab is smaller than you think. I can think of a few times where I gave somebody their first hit and it was literally like the leftover residue on my tool from an e-nail dab. Like I did a solid the 0.05 or a 0.1 and there's like a little bit left on the tool where I know if you push that into the e-nail it's going to give off a little bit of vapor. I would really ease a lot of people into their first hit. You almost need nothing. It really is like a dab. Even like daily dabbers often slip into the habit of just dabbing too much and a lot of that precious concentrate goes to waste. That's why I'm a big fan of e-rigs and e-nails and like efficient devices because you really are going to be able to get the max out of your oil. It's still wild to me how much oil I blasted through on cart night just hitting those buttons. I'm like, bro, there was a half a gram in here yesterday. There's nothing. But if you have like a nice efficient way to consume the concentrate, it should last a long time. So how big should your dab be? Most concentrates you get about a gram at a time. So how much of the gram and no, it, it's not the whole gram. I did upload a video of me doing a one gram to that green video website, but how much do you think it is? Half a gram, a tenth of a gram, a quarter of a gram, how much? Like the size of a ballpoint pen or like think of a grain of rice, like half the size of a grain of rice. It's very, very small. Like I said, it can vary, but most dabs, like most grams of dabs, you should probably get 20 or 30 dabs out of one gram. Some people literally only get 10 dabs. They're doing a 10th of a gram each hit or more. Imagine getting a whole gram of concentrate and it's gone in less than 10 dabs. That's very common for a lot of people. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't do big dabs. There's no reason to do big dabs. But for most people, for most average consumers, unless you're trying to do like a one and done and not have to do any more session, smaller dabs are where it's at. Smaller dabs are better. Like a 20th of a gram can be a big hit on the right device. Now, obviously, you have a nice big old quartz banger. You're tempted to put a little bit more in there. You get a big old terp slurper. It doesn't do as well with smaller dabs, so you might be tempted to put a little more in there. Like big dabs dabs aren't terrible. They can be fun from time to time. I've done my fair share of half gram, one gram dabs and larger. But I got to tell you, after doing a bunch of them, there's not much of a difference between a half gram dab and a one gram dab. You're not really twice as high because you dab twice as much. Like a big, huge dab in like that half gram plus range can give you the effect. Now, if you didn't do like a super hot dab where that one gram didn't like dab off in like 30 seconds, if it really took like a moment or so, I think one of the one gram dab videos videos that I have that I'm posting on that green video website, which check my link tree. I'll have a link to the one gram dab video over there, but there's like a few minutes of me inhaling. I've seen many people's one gram dab rip where it was one pull. It was like, and they're like, that was a one gram dab. And it's like, well, no, it wasn't <laughs> like a few of the times when I did a one gram dab, I made it a point to try to inhale as much of the vapor at a lower temp as I could. So that means minutes of inhaling thick vapor. And when you inhale thick vapor for minutes and minutes and minutes, your lungs get lined with reclaim. I don't, I don't know how to explain this. Maybe I'd like to see the science on it one day. But you can have long lasting highs from huge dabs. It's a little bit different, right? Your, your lungs are coated in that reclaim. So it's just getting those hits over and over again throughout the day. You still do convert some 11 hydroxy THC when you're smoking and dabbing, but not as much as when you eat it. But I imagine on like a one gram dab, you probably get a decent amount. But you can't do a one gram dab every 
every day. You can't do a half gram dab every day or multiple times a day. It just, it really is too much. I've, I've been in the point where it's like, sorry, bro, I don't get high unless I go through a gram or two of concentrate each day. And I can tell you, uh, you, you're dabbing too much. If you're in that state, if you need to go at least one or two grams, I've heard people say they go through an eighth of concentrate a day. You're dabbing too much. You're using too much concentrate every time you hit. There's a lot of waste going on and you're really playing weird games with your cannabinoid receptors. People are blasting their receptors every day with an insane amount of cannabinoids like 10, 20, 30 times the amount you actually need to get high. I think when you're doing concentrates, you really should think a dab will do you and go on the small side of concentrates. You can always do another dab. You can always take another hit and they don't all have to be globs. One other thing I noticed, I was looking through some websites and videos to see what other people recommend. But so many people dab wrong or dab weird. Like I, I, there's this thing where when people do hot starts, they take too much of a scoop of a dab and it takes them like 30 seconds to get the dab off the tool. And then when you look at the tool afterwards, half of the dab is still there. Ever seen that? They're like rubbing it on the inside of the nail. They're trying to get the dab to drip off. They don't have like a good technique. And then all it does is like melt the concentrate and smear it all around the tool. So you got half of it in the nail and then half of it's left on the tool. I've seen so many people just flat out dab wrong that they have to scoop twice as much concentrate as they need. Otherwise, they might not get a dab at all. So maybe on that green video website, I'll do some like in-depth tutorials and how to's and best ways to like minimize loss or minimize waste because i swear like some people could just switch the device or switch the technique up a little bit and they could get way higher off of what they got anyway the twitch test starts at 9 p.m eastern if you have amazon prime you can give me that jeff bezos dab money if we hit 14 20 prime subs before 7 10 i will cut my own hair during the 12 hour sesh we're gonna be blazing from 3 p.m to 3 a.m eastern live on Twitch. Come get high with me. And if you're in the market for a new e-rig so you can take some nice efficient dabs and not have a lot of waste, check out my e-rig tier list on here. There's a lot of bad ones out there that I can't recommend, but there are a few good ones. Have a lit day, my dudes.